How you doing? Welcome back. How you doing? Um, my name is Tiffany. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. Thank you for joining me today. It's been a while since I put out a video. A while in my terms, which means like two or three weeks. So bear with me here. Um, anyhow, so as you can tell by the title, I am talking about Afrotech today. So, Afrotech, for those of you who don't know, is basically a conference for blacks in technology that are in startups, that are in entrepreneurship. I was really looking forward to go to this conference. And if you don't know about it, I got a link in the description below read it up on it. it it's a great experience especially if you yourself or are, are a black in technology like for real like go next year but this year's event was held in san francisco and if you don't know which i don't know why you wouldn't know but if you don't know like san francisco is considered like the big tech hub and so there was like there was so many events going on. There were so many companies that hosted us at events in the evenings and in the conference that took place during the day. It was just a lot going on. It was so great. I met a ton of people and just the whole experience was just so amazing. So yeah, like if you didn't go this year, then you must go next year. So I think it said that there's like 4,000 total blacks in the tech industry that were there and it's like whoa that's crazy like wow so i was excited about that just in and itself was amazing so let's get into it uh my goal specifically for this conference was was very simple i went there not necessarily i'm not looking for a job i'm not looking for some new hip idea i'm not looking for any of that i was looking to just network with other people right it's very simple right learn about what other people are doing like i want to know what you're doing so i spent a lot of my time doing that it was very exciting um and then i wanted a wide variety of experience when i went to these different uh talks that were that were given because they had like an engineering track they had a design track they had a leadership track they had an entrepreneurship track and so i wanted to listen to a little bit of everything and i i you know i did that I, I listened to at least one talk in every category and I was very happy about that because I just wanted to widen my knowledge. Like what is, what are people working on? That's what I want to know. Let's get into the days. I'm just going to go through a recap of each day. The conference was two days. Um, I got there on a Thursday. The conference officially started on a Friday, but they also had events happening that Thursday. So like I said, there was a lot of events happening, a lot of things going on. Um, and then it was officially over like the, uh, I think the conference things were officially over like on Saturday and then they had a big final party, but then they still had events going on on Sunday. So I don't know. There's it's just, it's so many things, right? So let's just say it lasted till Sunday. Okay. But, um, I went home Sunday morning, so I don't know about all the other things. <laughs> it was, it was such a gratifying experience really great just to have been a part of that experience so thursday i arrived in san francisco uh our flight was delayed um and when i say delayed i mean we were on the plane and they said hey guys we can't take off yet because there's some kind of maintenance situation that we need to sign off on and etc uh, etc etc et and i'm like so we're not moving and i was late to the airport i'm over here rushing and everything else and i could have just been still sleep because the plane didn't leave till two hours later that is a hot mess american airlines i've never had a problem with you what gives anyways so i finally get to san francisco um i will mention this uh there was an app created specifically for this uh conference event so a lot of us were talking within the app leading up to the conference which everybody if you're not doing that take note like it really does help um so anyways so we agreed a, a lot of us agreed to meet up at a vegan restaurant a vegan soul food restaurant at that it was in oakland that was the first day i'm like whoa 
we're already going in here. I can't wait to see what's next. So we went over there. Um, we were a little bit late getting there because of the whole flight delay situation. And then, you know, getting ready to get dressed to go over there. And then the, the trip over there to Oakland because it, it's not right there. So it was like 30 minutes, but then you have a whole bunch of traffic. It was a lot, but we finally got there. So that was fun. After that, um, we kind of teamed up. We're like, hey, who's heading where? Because there's a lot of events happening. There's a Curls and Cocktails event. The highlight of that for me was that the the building that we were in was overlooking like a lot of like the, just the city and it was just great scenery. Um, all the different buildings within the area. Um, I, I think maybe that was their downtown. I don't know. I live in Texas, so <laughs> I have no idea. But it was it was really cool just to kind of see like the whole lay of the land. Um, and then after that, we headed to a Pinterest party. So Pinterest headquarters was hosting a party. Not really a party. It was more like um, they um, they talked about just the things that Pinterest was doing and um very excited about this event as we all were but they had a few of their developers that were working on some the, some of the features to quickly talk about it and um the one that really stood out to me was like they have a new feature on the web application where you can go through um, and search pins by skin tone so if you're looking the example they gave was if you're looking for dreads then you can search skin tone and it'll give you if you choose you know this specific skin tone group that happens to match with mine then you'll come up with some black people that have dreads so it was pretty cool that they 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 listened to a user's need and they satisfied that need within their application so that is some awesome work um i i spoke briefly to the the team of the developers that did it and I, I just asked some minor questions but it was a party in there by then like they had a dj in the corner he had the music cranking up to like tone deaf tones it was really loud but um it was a good time um so it was, i was kind of like yelling and after that i was like all right i quit i'm not gonna, i can't keep yelling over people so it's like ah uh but anyways that was fun and then friday came and this i mean this was the beginning right this was the start so we are heading into the conference we we get ourselves registered we go in and um we we just take in the atmosphere just take in the venue so let me back up Afrotech this year had two different venues. One of them was specifically for the design and engineering track, and the other one was for the entrepreneurship and leadership. Um, but the problem with the venues is they weren't very close to each other at all. In fact, they were like 30 minutes away from each other, so it made it very difficult to get from one to the other. And there were some communication issues with the buses and everything, so that got flubbed. But um, there was, so there was those two different venues and we decided to go to the main venue first so that we can get our swag bags and then just be there for the official keynote. So with that being said, we ended up going there. Um, we had some time to kill, so we went and some of the booths were set up for the, the companies that were represent, that, that wanted to be represented there. So we went ahead and visited some of their booths, got some of their swag, and then we headed in for the keynote. Um, yeah, and then it was just, you can't really like put a name on the amount of energy that was within that place the entire time. Like just, just to experience it was just so amazing. It, it was great. Like it was, it was, it was awesome. All right. There's just no words. Um, I was excited about it. I was like, oh my gosh, it's happening. And I didn't record. I didn't vlog. I didn't do any of that because I just wanted to experience it. And I'm so happy that I just experienced it. So yes, it was amazing. And we headed over to the other venue later on that day. They were giving some design talks. There was this one lady from uh, Netflix. Oh my God. Her talk was amazing. Like 
that was probably my favorite talk. And she was talking about A-B testing. And what, what I love the most about her talk is she made it relatable. So she talked about A-B testing and she related it to like Drake's beard and like doing a test on users. Like, do you like his beard this way? Or do you like it this way? And it's, it's kind of like the most like simplistic thing, right? Like it's a beard, someone's beard, like what? But at the same time, just to see her go through that whole process of explaining it and it's like dumbing it down to people like me who don't really know what A-B testing is. So it's like, wow, this is good. Like I was taking notes just of her, the way that she spoke and the way that she presented herself because that was amazing, like for real. Um, and then they had other talks that were getting like on prototyping and, um, you know, it's just so many other, there's so many things. Um, so anyways, I told y'all there was a lot of events happening after the conference as well. So that day and specifically on um, Friday, Salesforce had held an event at their space as well. So we went over to that, um, mingled a little bit and had a little bit of snacks and we're kind of on to the next event. Um, wanted to go to the Amazon event. We were waiting in line for an hour for you, Amazon. Amazon, an hour. So we were waiting in line. Um, if you were late, basically you were out of luck. But what happened is they gave everybody like confirmations from their RSVPs and said, hey, you are officially in. And so because of that, we were kind of all lined up, ready to go in. The big thing here was um, there was a group there called, I think it's called August Green. If it's not called August Green, I'll put the exact name here. But there was a, a group name, a group August Green there. And within the group, there's a rapper named Common. Now, if you don't know anything about Common, like, go look up Common Rapper, okay? Do that now and then come back here and you'll understand. So Common is a rapper and like everyone wanted to see Common. So everyone RSVP'd. Amazon didn't have enough space to hold us all within this venue. So we were out cold, basically. We were out in the cold, yeah. So that was disappointing, but I said, you know what, fine. I'm not meant to see Common today, I guess. Fine, I, just, I guess it's not gonna happen ever, because if it wasn't gonna happen at Afrotech, it's not gonna happen any other time, because how's that gonna work? On, on Saturday, <laughs> Saturday was kind of a more relaxed day, because it was like, okay, you did Thursday, you kind of know what to expect now, and just kind of mingle in and go into the tracks and everything. That was the engineering track as well. So since I said it was at a different venue, and so since that was the case, I, I uh, decided to go there first. And um, it, was, it, was, it was pretty cool. Like it was pretty cool. Like I enjoyed the, the information that I received from there. Information on like product roadmaps and then just hearing the stories of how people got into tech and how they navigated their careers within the tech industry and just hearing how people are paying it forward. And one of the speakers spoke on, you know, um, I don't know if he spoke on it or what. So I guess I shouldn't say that. Somebody mentioned, I'll say that. <laughs> Somebody mentioned about the fact that like, being in the technology industry, being a black person in technology, a lot of times we make more than our parents make currently. And so it's, it's kind of like a, a divide, right? And it's a big margin of divide. It's not just a couple thousand dollars, right? It's it's a big divide. Um, and so because of that, uh, this individual speaking was saying that he does, you know, he helps out his family and, and he, he takes on those responsibilities. And I totally relate to that. And it's not because my family asked me to, it's because I really want to do that, right? Like I'm in a position to do it, so let me just help you, right? And so he talked a lot about that and then somebody, the the actual MC that was at the other venue also mentioned about like getting more involved in like investing and thinking about the future and buying property and all these other things that I'm like, it's scary, but it's in reality, if you want to secure your future, like you gotta be able to do that. Her example that she gave was 
Um, she's, you know, living in the California area. I don't remember exactly where, but she's living in California and she owns her house. Like y'all know how expensive it is in California. Okay. And she owns her house. What? <laughs> Inspired. Afterward, there was a Lyft party. Lyft. Oh my God, Lyft. We went to Lyft headquarters and around like with that whole area where Lyft is, is a whole other um, tech companies as well. And it was just like, I was like, oh my God, there's GitHub and there's this and Stripe. And I was just like, wow. And it's just so cool like to see, like, I, you know, I, I didn't knock on the doors because it was at nighttime, but still it's just like, oh, there it is. Cause you see it like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just exaggerating. I don't know, but I thought it was fun. So the party at Lyft was more like a, a lot of these things that the company toasted were to recruit people. But like I said, I'm not going there for a job. I'm just trying to immerse myself in this. It was amazing. So they had like food there. They had a live band that was like playing all the good R&B music. I'm like, yes, I'm here for this. We're all like jamming. People are dancing. It's fun. Like, wow. That was, that was a great, that was a great event. Like for real, that was well, well organized, well articulated event. Like, yes, spot on. Perfect. I, I'm here for it. Um, so that was great. And then after that was kind of like the wrap up party um for the conference so they had it in the big venue and and i didn't know but like i guess anybody can come to this venue i guess i don't know but uh it was it was a pretty big venue and there was djs and there was djs <laughs> no it was fun it was fun so i ended up going to that and um it was very crowded very packed as you might already know um, but anyways it was a great event kind of a good way to kind of end it all especially a lot of people were leaving Sunday morning I mentioned I was leaving Sunday morning so I got like one hour of sleep and then I got on the plane and then I was like dozing off and it was a rough Sunday okay not because I was hungover but because I was um, sleepy very tired so to recap Go to Afro Tech next year. Come on, guys. The tickets are at a reasonable price right now. If you're just looking for general admission, you're just trying to go and figure out what the heck Afro Tech is all about, $250 will get you in that door. So go ahead and, and get your tickets, okay? And then also, it's gonna be in Oakland next year. So they're trying to do a bigger push on supporting uh, black owned businesses as well. So that's going to be exciting to see. Afrotech was an amazing experience to be in a room full of other black people in technology. Like I literally got on the bus one day because we were going to some other venue. I literally got on the bus, sat next to somebody, had a whole conversation with her, right? And then we got into the bits of what company do you work for? And she's like, oh, I work at Google. And I'm like, what? Like, are you serious? Mind blown. And then I talked to somebody else when we were doing our whole, you know, mingling thing. And she's like, oh, I just got a job at Apple. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, killing it. Like, to see black people in such, like, positions that you don't see black people in, Oh my God. And then there were so many companies there that just wanted to hire. And so a lot of them were, you know, you talk to those individuals and they're ready to recruit you, right? And it's funny because I walked up to a lot of them and I was just like, so how's your culture? <laughs> so how, what are you guys doing? <laughs> what is it that you do? Because some of them I didn't know exactly what they did. So um, it was really cool just to, it, it, it was really cool to go in not really looking for a job because it was so chill for me because I'm just like, so what are you guys doing over here? Like, <laughs> so anyways, that was really cool. Um, I don't know. It's an unforgettable experience. Like, I look forward to next year's event. And, um, you know, if you weren't there, you got to be there. And I hope to see you next year in Oakland.